All right. So as Carol mentioned, I'm here to talk today about, ooh, let's see if I can get this to work. Tactical buyer focused content that drives results. A little bit about Lattice, in case you're not aware of us. Lattice Engines helps predict who will buy, what they'll buy, and when they'll buy. Uh, our predictive marketing technology uh, combines billions of buying signals and applies advanced machine learning to help get insights on prospects and customers. If you're interested in learning more about that, we're at booth 37 in the hall. But let's get into what we're here to talk about today. We created a predictive playbook on account-based marketing. I think today, in February of 2016, we're all very well aware of ABM. It's been a tidal wave that hit the industry. I don't think I get a webinar invitation or an email that doesn't mention it, but about a year ago, we started seeing that this was a growing trend, and it was something that Lattice wanted to tie ourselves to and start talking about more. So we decided we wanted to create a big piece of content that would help us loop into this industry. Part of it was gonna be for thought leadership, so we worked with some folks like John Miller of Engageo, a few other industry influencers, and we also put a case study in here because this was gonna be a big demand gen asset for our team for a couple months. So what's the process we take? Um, for each piece of content that we create, it's four steps. Ideation and planning are the biggest ones for us. We really wanna make sure we map out the process we're gonna follow. Content creation is actually the smallest piece of the entire thing. Once we've gone through the first two steps, this is pretty easy to go through. And then distribution is the key piece of this. So getting to the idea. For us, our target buyer is a modern marketer, which is lucky for us. We know quite a few of you here. Um, but for that piece, we really knew we wanted to target folks like CMOs, demand gen leaders, and really understand what challenges they were facing, understand what their pain points were, and what the questions they had about ABM and how we could tie into that. So, as I mentioned, we knew we were interested in ABM. We thought a lot of other people were interested in ABM. But the question was, was that just us? Was it an external concern as well? So we started doing uh, in interviews with some of those influencers, with some of our customers. And what we learned is that people knew about ABM, they were aware of it, but there was a lot of questions of how. How do I implement it? How do I get buy-in from my teams? How do I integrate it with some of my other marketing programs? And how do I measure it once I get started? So that really helped us hone in on this idea that we needed to be creating tactical content. We didn't need top level educational content at this point. So now we had the idea, what was next was to set down the plan. Uh, the first step for us at Lattice is always to sync up with our demand gen team. Uh, we wanted to figure out what kinds of placements they were gonna do for this, what kind of programs we could run about it, how we could tie into our existing events. And so from that standpoint, it was crucial to make sure that we were in lockstep with them. I think we can all agree that content created in a vacuum isn't helpful at all if no one sees it. So the marketing component is always the most crucial for us. After that, we needed to decide on the tone of the piece. As I mentioned, we had already come to the conclusion that we needed to get very tactical with this. Um, and so we wanted to drill down and provide best practices for the readers to make it really, really helpful and make it be something that would help drive engagement with our customers and prospects. We settled on the ABCs of ABM because we wanted something short and sweet for the subject line when we were sending this out. Um, and then within there, we put in tips about how predictive marketing can enhance your ABM program, how it can help align your marketing and sales teams, and how it's going to improve your content strategy. Once we nailed down kind of the outline of what we wanted to do, we decided to start looking at who else could we work with on this. Uh, I think we can all agree that content created from a single vendor perspective is never quite as successful as that when it's a group effort and you have other people involved. So for us, we really wanted to rally the influencers. Uh, as I mentioned before, John Miller of Engageo worked with us on this, as did Nicola Draca of LinkedIn and Serious Decisions. We worked with them to understand what are the best practices they are recommending to their colleagues, to their coworkers, how are they seeing ABM implemented in the best possible way. Um, by working with these folks, we not only validated the claims we were making, but it actually helped us a lot during the distribution phase because we were able to connect in with their networks as well. So we got a much broader distribution of the piece than if we just created it by ourselves. 
For the demand gen side, we wanted to make sure we had a customer case study in this as well, and so that we could demonstrate the value that Lattice brings to um, the ABM process. We decided to start talking with demand base on this, and CMO Peter Isaacson told us a great story about how they actually use Lattice's predictive models to create their DB3000. It's the 3,000 target accounts his team goes after for all of their marketing and sales efforts. Um, because his team had gone all in on ABM, he really wanted to make sure that everything they were doing was backed by data, and that's why he came to Lattice. And so we were able to show some killer results that he's, his team got based on how they use the Lattice data scores within their ABM program. Um, I know Demandbase is exhibiting here today, so if you have more questions about that, I'm sure they'd love to tell you. The next piece is actually writing it. We've gone through all of the planning, all the ideation, and it was time to sit down and actually write the piece. Uh, for us, it's all about workload, and we're a pretty lean marketing team at Lattice Engines, so we decided to work with a freelancer on this to make sure that we could get the copy written quickly and efficiently. What we did is once we'd identified the writer, we set her up with everyone that we could think of from the Lattice side, product marketers, uh, the rest of the demand gen team, executives, some of our product managers, and made sure that she had access to interview everyone she needed to drill in and get insights from a variety of different folks, um, as well as from the influencers, and make sure we had all that content in one place in one person's head, and then she sat down and wrote the piece. Uh, once she had created it and we had the copy in our hands, or on our laptops, it's not a hard copy anymore, um, we then as a team went through and did a few revisions just to make sure the messaging was consistent with our other collateral, um, to make sure that everything was tied in together for our demand gen efforts later on. Um, and then we started going through the design process. We work with the design team as well to help create the feel of it, to make sure that there were snippets that could be pulled out um, for other collateral that we use this with too. So now it's down to the important part, the distribution. Um, so we have a really robust plan when we do the, uh, content like this because we only create a few of these assets a year. So when we create these big pieces, these ebooks or white papers, we want to squeeze all the marketing juices out of it that we can. Uh, we kick it off with the blog post to announce to the world that we've created this piece. Um, we gave a few tips and tricks in the post itself, but really it was all about getting them excited and making sure that they were going to go in and download it and really engage with the whole content. We also then do an email blast to our target accounts, letting them know that this is available, explaining why they should read it. In conjunction with that, we work really closely with our sales team to make sure they have all the information they need because the sales team is going to be the one talking to these customers and prospects about the content. So we make sure they don't just have an email saying, hey, here's the new content, make sure you share it. We work with them to make sure they understand what's the value of this, what are their customers and prospects going to get out of it, what are some key learnings they should be recommending, um, and how do you really use it to make Lattice Engines a smarter vendor for their prospects. We do a couple other things as well. We work it into our nurture campaigns. We use it in our social media efforts. And for social media for us, we not only push it out through Lattice channels, we work with Gaggle Amp and make sure that all of the people on the Lattice team from marketing through the engineering team to our admins have the ability to share the same content and promote it more broadly to their networks. That brand awareness piece is really key for us on the thought leadership side because we could put in quotes from some of the influencers we worked with, key tips and tricks, and make sure it was continuously driving people back to the piece even months after we'd published it. Um, we also use it in retargeting ads for the same reason, and even in our PR efforts. For this one, we actually created a byline out of some of the best tips and tricks and posted that to an external media site so that then we had the same information, the same messaging going on both internal and external channels for us. So after all that, this is the most important part, obviously, what were the results? For us, we were thrilled to see um, after the first six months, we had over 1,200 downloads, but more importantly, that drove over 200,000 in pipeline influence for us. Um, we track this all through multi-touch attribution to make sure we're seeing which pieces of content are the best at driving the sales process, and this is the strongest one we saw in 2015. I think for us, this really validates that this kind of mid-funnel tactical content is a crucial part of our strategy moving forward because 
it didn't just give people a high level education about what Lattice was, but it really proved to them how Lattice can support their efforts, what are they gonna get out of their work with Lattice, and why it was important for them to be considering it. So moving forward, we're absolutely gonna be creating more of this mid-funnel content for our teams. That's everything I have for you guys today. Are there any questions? Yeah. Oh, influence for us is um, once we once the, something goes into the opportunity stage, we take a look at every program that they've touched across the board, and they get a piece of that opportunity. So if it's a $50,000 opportunity and they touched five different pieces of content, it was awarded $10,000 in influence. So, yeah. How often do you repeat the cycle? The promotion cycle? Oh, um, for these, we do anywhere between two and four of these kinds of pieces every year. So we do try and do it quarterly, but we also base it really on, we want to make sure it's engaging content. So we want to come up with a really good idea before we go through the process. Yeah. I'm sorry, can you speak up just a little? We do, yeah, so we work really closely with sales. We let them know at what time the content's gonna be pushed out. They have specific follow-up times. We then reconvene about two weeks later to talk about things and see if there's anything we need to tweak or change when we do a second push. We usually do two big pushes with things like this. Yes. We are, yeah, we track through, um, we track it through what channel it's coming out through, so we use Engageo actually, and so we can see if someone downloaded it from an email or if they're visiting the website and viewing it that way. All right, thanks everybody.